Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. We are done with setting up two lines of, uh, what's it called, concrete production. And we don't quite have enough, uh, what's it called, limestone coming down the line for the second production line, but that's okay. Whoa, mega lag right there. Okay, so that's concrete done. Now, we need to set up making encased industrial beams. So we need to make more pipes because we're not making enough pipes for that. So I think we'll do that up on the top floor here and also make encased industrial beams up there. But first, let's go and have a look at, not in here, over here. I want to go have a look at the hub and see what we can unlock. So let's have a quick look at that. Because we want to unlock more stuff, right? As fast as possible, really. So here in tier one, I don't think there's anything really interesting. No. Tier two, expanded pocket dimension, very interesting. Let's, uh, let's unlock that immediately. Oh, we might as well check. So expanded pocket dimension. And then guess what else do we want to unlock? Medicinal inhaler, inhaler might be nice. We can actually unlock that straight away. But I think we need to send off the machine or the pod to do that. So I think we'll do the expanded pocket dimension first. And then maybe do oil processing or the medicinal inhaler. I'm not sure. So we need a few more. We are I'm completely full up on stuff here. So let's... Drop off 500 there. So we have one more spot and we'll grab these and fill up completely like that. All right. And come over here and get these things unlocked. So first, the expanded pocket dimension, I obviously need it. So let's do that, and that's easily done. There we go, and I don't think the pod goes anywhere for that, right? Nope. And now we have an extra five slots, so that's very nice. Okay, so next we want, I, I do want the medicinal inhaler, so let's select that, and Unlock that. A thousand wire and a hundred cables. All right. Launch the pod. And that will take three minutes, so that's not too bad. It's not going off very far. So, how. We need an equipment workbench up here as well. Let's build that right, right away. I think I'll build that over here. Like that. Let's see, what do we need to make? Medicinal inhalers. So alien organs and mycelia. Okay. I don't think we have any mycelia at the moment, but we can make that pretty easy. So next milestone is going to be oil processing, for which we need ooh, a lot of wire. 3000 wire, 400 cables. Let's uh, select the milestone, stick in what we can. Oh, we can't do that now, but we can see what we need up in the right hand corner. So we need, I have the motors on me. I need a few more of these. That'll Two. And then we need, I have the motors, right? Yeah. We need some cable, which we have over here somewhere. That's motors. 
That's already full, very nice. And we need some cables. So well, that's enough cables. And we need some wire, and we don't have enough in here, that's for sure. This is filling up extremely slowly with wire, because we're just not producing enough. But there's a little bit of wire coming through. But we can just run over and grab some over here. It's not really a big deal. So let's come over here and grab some wire from these machines over here. All right. And there. There. All right. How much wire do we have now? Oh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Let's grab 500 more. Come on. There. So that's that. And we are going to be back over there as soon as the pod returns, more or less. It's back in a few seconds, 10 seconds. So we will be over there around that time as well. And we will unlock the oil processing, which is going to be fun. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it doesn't stick through. You could just see it through for some reason. A little graphical glitch there. Okay, so pod is back and we can stick in what this thing needs. Motors. A crap ton of wire. There and cable. Come on. There we go. And voila! Oil processing is unlocked. And off goes the port again. Pod again. Oil based pod can now be made. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out of the base activities. Thanks, Ada, for caring about my health. All right, off he is, and now we can make plastic fuel rubber circuit boards. All right, very nice. I think we actually have some alternate recipes for some of this, don't we? Maybe, not down there, that's for sure. Not there, not there, so we don't have any alternate recipes for that stuff. So that's something that we're going to need to go out and get. But first, steel. Steel pipes to be exact. Oh, uh, there isn't really room for steel pipes here, is there? Let's see, we just need constructors for that. Mm. So let's check it out. See if there is. We need a splitter first. There. Constructor. There. And oh wait, steel pipe. Cause they only produce fifteen a minute, so we need thirty machines. So no, there's, there definitely isn't room for that here. There might be room for the encased industrial beams here. Let's uh, actually stick down a assembler and see if there is. Well, that produces six per minute. Is it enough getting 60 per minute? Hmm. It's gonna have to be for now. It's gonna have to be for now. Let's see, how many steel pipes are we actually using per minute? Um, we're using 306, right? Yeah. Or... Uh, not here, downstairs. Or the staters. 
We have 17 machines making staters. So yeah, 306 per minute. Uh, so yeah, we are not producing enough new pipes. And there isn't enough room down here for another steel pipe production line. Because this takes one, two, three, four and a half foundations, and we only have one, two, three and a half foundations. So we don't have enough room here, so we would have to expand this one or build up top. And I think the solution to this for right now is going to be build up top. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to build up top. So we need this to come along. Uh, let's see. This needs to be this. And then we need to come up. Let's put these on. So we need the turn. We need the ramp. And probably the T crossing as well. So let's. Oh, it's it's not here. <laughs> okay. Hmm, uh, let's see. Just need a T crossing on this. I suppose like that. It's here that we want to do this. So yeah. I actually want this to be one of these because I want this to be a balcony sorts so that we don't fall out. Okay. There. And then we will go up here. So, so come around. And go up again. Nine. And we will make it up here. Eventually, oops, I want you like that. Not very practical. That and okay. almost there. And And we'll put this on here for now. Well, there. Oh, it's a little extra there. Okay, so up here we do have room for 30 machines. So that's what we're going to do. I think I will do that uh, off camera because it's a little bit boring to watch, right? It's uh, You've seen it before. So I will do that real quick and then I'll be back. See you in a second, guys. Right, so this project was actually quite a lot bigger than I first anticipated. So we needed to make more coal or more steel. We needed to make more iron ingots. We needed to bring more coal over, which is coming right there in a tractor, which I'm not particularly happy about, but it's a temporary setup that we have and the coal is flowing. It's coming there and going up. So yeah. The iron is coming from over there. There are three iron nodes over there that we hooked up uh, earlier. And it's running uh, not very prettily, but it's running. Uh, so until here, it's quite all right. But then I just hooked it up like this and it looks like crap, but it is what it is for now. It works. So if we run up and have a look here so the iron is flowing and we are making iron ingots i'm pretty sure we should be anyway uh, let's run up and have a look here 
and see. So I had to set up a whole new iron ingot uh, smeltery here, a whole new line, and that's going. So one full 450 belt is worth of ingots there. And they are, of course, coming up here. And up here, they will be turned into steel once we get the coal going and the coal is going so did i not make did i not configure you i did but i did not give you power i did give you power i don't have power oh i didn't give you power uh, come on. where's a power pole that i can connect to there Come on. I want to connect to this. There. Okay. So now you don't have power. Did I not? Oh, of course. There. Okay, now you have power. And coal is flowing, iron ingots are flowing. And we are producing more steel ingots here on this line. Now we need to get the steel ingots over to our production facility. And that's not going to be too hard because we have this hole here where we can go down and get some steel ingots running along. So if we take a look, uh, where am I going? Whoa, lag. Don't know if it was because I was spazzing out or because of the game saving. Uh, one of the above. All right, so let's take a look at the production lines that I've set up. Uh, come on, and we need to go up again. And here we are. And we have here we will be producing steel pipe, and we have. A lot of machines for that. We have just run over here. I didn't need to run all this way, but we have 30 machines for steel pipe, and that will be being produced here, and it will come out from there, and then it will go straight over and into the top line here and be distributed to these. I think it was 16, yeah, 16 encased industrial beam machines that I set up. So 16 encased industrial beam machines will produce, what, uh, 60, 90, 96 encased industrial beams per minute, I guess. Yeah. So that should be fine. And they also need concrete. And we have concrete being made over there in the other facility as well. And we need to get that over here somehow too. Which is going to be a little bit more tricky, I think. But not impossible. So, yeah. Alright, let's get back over there and get this going. We want to get up here. And here is where we have the concrete production, which we will need to get going along. And I think what I'll do is I might have it come out somewhere along here. Uh, maybe above here and just go along and go into the, the little tunnel we have there which I can access here. And this is also where our steel will come. So if we stick, whoops, steel in there and there. So then we have that. And then we need the steel coming along. There. And there. Well, actually, do we want it going there? Because I want it to go up, right? 
Yeah, I want it to go up. So I could. Yeah, I think I'll go get it out here and then get it going up that way. So let's see. We need this here. One, two. And then we need this here. Two. And then this can go in there. And this can go in there. This is our spaghetti floor, so it's fine. And that it looks a little spaghetti-ish. And then we need it to come up this way. And we want it to come up here somewhere. Okay. Oh, I actually want a wall here for this. Uh, so there. Then I'll put in a foundation just so I don't fall when I am doing this. And so I can see what I'm doing and I put it in the wrong place. No, I didn't. Okay. So there. Come up there. Oh, I need more steel beams. I guess we'll run down and get some of those. It does take a lot of steel beams getting all of this built. Luckily, it won't be steel beams for long. Then it'll be encased industrial beams, which doesn't necessarily make it better, but uh, this is not where we're producing steel beams. It's down here. Whoa, lag again. All right, and we'll just jump along here and I'll just grab some of the out of the machines and all will be fine. So let's just fill up a bit here on steel beams because we will need them. And so because we also need to get the concrete all the way, right? And like so. And... Right, almost there, whoops. No more machines this way. Okay, then we'll go over here and grab some. Ah, come on. Alright, no more room. Uh, this will have to do. And... Jump our way back here. I really need to build a, a bridge over all of this so we don't have to jump around all the time. And I will someday. Alright. So we need to go back up top here. Actually, let's go over here first and get the concrete flowing as well. Well, both the concrete and the steel beams. So how are we going to do this? I could, well, we'll climb up there. Could take this out and then get the concrete going this way. Under here. That might be an idea. Because it won't go above, I don't think. Will it? Can we stick a conveyor pole? Well, it won't go above. That's for sure. So, but, and it, but it would not, not really. I don't know. It's not going to go above. It's that easy. It's going to go below. Come on, stick in there and come in there. So we're going to tear this wall out and I think put in a conveyor wall. Yeah. Like so, and I think it'll come in and run in the middle here. So, let's do that. And these produce a total of 300. Which is not enough, but it's going to have to do for now, and I'll fix it up later. 
So we need a merger somewhere like here, I think. And we will run this over there. And we'll run this out and merge into there as well. This is the spot. Nope, it's not. One back. Then this is the spot. Yeah. Okay. And then we will bring it out. And we'll actually bring it out here. And then we'll run it underneath there. Uh, we'll bring it up to there. Actually, I want to bring it on this the other one. So let's just delete this and bring this out a bit further. There, I think. Ah, too far. Let's just build the pole first. There, that we want it. You come into this piece, and you come into there. All right, and then it can come along here. Thank you. Oh, another save lag there. And run in the middle here. Right down the center. And we'll stick it in there. And we'll stick it in here. And then I think we will turn this into a... ...wall conveyor. Like that. And then we actually need to get outside. So we'll do that. Down with some foundations. Doesn't matter which ones. And that needs to come up. Oh. This needs to come up into there. And this needs to come up to the same height. Where's that? Where's the same height? It's really hard to tell sometimes. I think it's there. We'll try that for now. And we will put this in there and run up top. And have a look-see. Okay, so we should have steel coming along. No, we didn't hook up the steel yet. That's okay. I'll go do that in a second. It was the perfect height. Uh, this will go into... Oh, I need to think here. So the encased industrial beams actually need to come over here. So they need to come up and out. And the pipes, or the, not the pipes, the, uh, what's it called? Ingots. They need to come in there. And, no, actually, they need, what did I do here? Okay, so the output is there, and the output is there, so they need to come in there, and they need to come in there. Okay, this is a bad tricky. And let's bring you out to here and then come along. And we need a splitter which will go something like 
that. And then you go into that. Uh, then it won't go like that. Then it will go something like that. You come into that. And come into that. And come along here. And into that. Now, you need to come out and onto this. Will you do that for me? Yes, you will. And that needs to go in the bottom of both of them, actually. But this won't work. This will not work. Crap. Crappity crap crap crap. What to do? Oh, I have an idea. Delete you. Delete you. Delete you. And... We do, we are going to put walls around this anyway, so it doesn't matter much that we put a double high wall here. And then, don't want you. And this is going to be in the way, which is a little bit annoying because then we have to go down and hook it in again. It needs to come up to that height. So I need to get it going over there. And then we can... Uh, bring it out to here somewhere. There? Does that look totally awful? No. Not totally awful. Just somewhat awful. But it'll have to work. We'll have to do... And we'll stick you in like that. You come down to. Uh, did I put a merger in? I did. Not what I wanted. I wanted a splitter. There. You. <clears throat> Let's try putting it way back here. That doesn't work either. And if we put a conveyor lift in, then it goes all the way down. Which won't work either. Okay. This is more complicated than it should be, really. But I have another idea. Just a second. Delete all this again. And that. And then we'll do this instead. We will get you come up top, and we'll get you come into the bottom, and then we will stick a conveyor there and put a splitter in here put that conveyor in again oops there 
doesn't look hooked in, but it is. So there. Then you can come over there. Oh man! It turns them around, and it's so friggin' frustrating. Stop turning my splitter around when I'm placing it down. I'll place it the way that I want it to be. There. And uh, it needs conveyor pull. Let's see. Right there. Will it go that short distance? It will. Right. And then it will come along and hook into a conveyor pole stackable here. Actually, no, it won't. It will come along and hook into a conveyor pole stackable here. There. And there. Okay. Let's just hook this in again because I think it wouldn't connect otherwise. Alright, so that's that done. Then we need you to hook into there. Come out to here and come along. Oh, we need a splitter somewhere. Actually, we need the splitter right here. So let's do this. Six and like that. Will that work? I think it will. Yes, it will. Will this work? No, it will not. So that means that it needs to come forward a bit. It means that it might not work. See, will this work? Yes. Yes. Outstanding. All right, we're getting it done. We are getting it done. And I do believe it's right here. Nope. Too far. Too short. And try to make haste, everything goes wrong, and it just takes twice as long. There we go. All right. Out you go. And this is going to be annoying to move around, but we do have a way to get around there. All right, let's get down here and make sure everything is hooked in. Down here at this floor. So, we're not hooked in. And this is not hooked in. I am fairly certain. We can delete this again. And stick in a wall. There. It went in the right way even. That's fantastic. And there. Right, so concrete should now be going up to our encased industrial beam production. We just need the steel ingots to move along as well. And then we should be all set. So just a second. Oh, I am, yeah, I'm at the right floor. And we need you. Out here, uh, how far? Something like that. Okay, but is it straight? This is straight. And 
we will go into here. That is going to be very annoying. So we are going to put a conveyor pool stackable right here and right here. Actually, not right there. Might as well line it up, right? And you will just bend around like that. And then you'll go up on a conveyor pole stackable. Actually, you can just do this. That'll be fine. And there. And there. All right. And we have steel ingots coming along. So let's quickly get over here and see if we actually start producing. Which we should. Which we should. If the power doesn't blow or some something annoying like that. But I don't think it will. Because the rest of the machines are basically stopped right now. So... Alright. We have that going in and filling up these machines. Yes. And yes. And there comes the steel ingots. And we are... Whoa. That was a bit fast. We are producing steel pipes. So then we just need to get down to the end here. And hook those up. And we need to split them. So... Just see. And that's an input. Yeah. Okay. So we need them to come down this way and go into these four machines as well. So, are you getting concrete? Oh, you shouldn't be getting concrete. Should be getting steel pipe though eventually, or steel ingots eventually. Okay, so what I want to do here is get this built something like that, and then something like that, and was one further out let's just fix that I don't really care if it's one further out to be honest uh, as long as it will go in and will it it will and there are steel pipes very nice so get that going in there and then we need another one over here and that it's right in the middle so that's good and that needs to come in there and like that and then we need a splitter here so if we stand here we need a splitter right there and go into there that is not straight whatsoever and i keep forgetting so let's just do this because i keep forgetting that i can just back these up and take the bottom one out which is so much easier and it's the wrong way of course splitter Sometimes I really hate working with these things. There, there. And why? Stop.
returning my spitters. There. There. I really wish they would stop doing that. It is so freaking annoying. Just build it. Something like that. And then we'll build another one down here. There. And another one. I guess here. Like that. And we'll just pull this along. And get the steel pipes going over there as well. Oh, and we should actually have, should actually have encased industrial beams on our output belt now. We do not. Oh, that's because this isn't the output belt. It's the output belt over here. And we do. Look at that. Hurrah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fantastic. Okay. So this will come out this way to there. And there. There we go. Steel pipes are going into those machines as well. And they should start producing very soon. Come on. Yeah, they will start producing, so it's as easy as that. It is as easy as that. And, whoa. I hate when I stand on the belt. Okay, so there should be output on the way, somewhere, somewhere there should be output on the way. Come on. Why are, oh, here it comes, there's some output. There's some output. We are waiting for steel pipe. Yeah, steel pipe won't be able to keep up at all as it is. We need 450 belts for the steel pipe to come be able to keep up completely. But that's okay. I am happy that we have encased industrial beans being produced. So very, very good. But that is going to be all for this time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.